Hi, this is Melanie of Pardesi Reviews, and I'm here to do a review of the anthology series Navarasa, which just premiered on Netflix. If you're new to Pardesi Reviews, I do film reviews and trailer reactions for Indian cinema. All right, I'm back from vacation and the number Rasa just came out this weekend and I was finally able to sit down today and watch all five plus hours, I guess it was all told. Number Rasa means nine emotions and it's produced by Mani Ratnam and Jayendra Pacha Pakasan. All the artists donated their time. It was to benefit all of the all of the people involved with the film industry who are suffering because of all of the work stoppage from the pandemic. We've had several anthology series uh, over the last couple of years through COVID, but this one was so eagerly anticipated because it's produced by Mani Rodnam. So he did not uh, direct one of the series, but he did write some of the stories that became um, part of the anthology and overall produced it. And then the incredible uh, title sequence, which was a teaser, also had music by A.R. A. Rahman. All right, so I had to take extensive notes because this was nine short films and you know nine different directors, all different big stars in the tunnel industry. It's an incredible assembly of talent. I liked, as with any anthology, I liked some more than others. So the too long didn't read <laughs> version of this is that my two favorites of the nine by a uh, debut director, Arun Swami has the one on uh, the anger one and it was absolutely incredible. And then also Gautam Menem uh, has the final uh, emotion, love, and that stars Surya. <laughs> that was just like the cherry on top. It gave me such a good feeling and such a big smile on my face. All right, so those are my two top ones. So now I'm gonna go through them one by one. I don't know if this the order, it was interesting. I wonder if the order is the same, uh, depending on if it was the US Netflix or Indian Netflix. Anyway, okay, so the first one is Compassion. This was also one that is in my top tier. Uh, the director is Bijoy Nambiar, who gave, who, the films of his that I have seen are Solo and Karan. Uh, both, of course, starring Dulker and Corvan with Irfan Khan. I really enjoyed both of those films. And so I was excited that he was part of this anthology. Also, because if you follow my channel, you know what a huge fan I am of Vijay Satyapati. And then the fact that it has Prakash Raj, who's one of my favorite character actors, and Ravati is such a big fan of hers from... Uh, Devasur went one of my all-time favorite Malayalam films and so many other films. So what a combination. Like, I, you know, it would, <laughs> I was just set to love this one from the beginning. <sighs> okay, I don't want to do spoilers for all of these. I'll just say the, the performances of this one were incredible. It had a twist that I did not see coming uh, that I thought was really good. You know, there's something about short films and short stories. Like sometimes they could just have that powerful moment at the end that just, you know, gives that real impact. And this is one of those that really landed that. I really, really enjoyed this one quite a bit. Rakes, by the way, my favorite subtitleist. The, you know, I consider her the self, her the gold standard of subtitles. She was able to be subtitleist for, I believe, six of the nine. So this is one of the ones that she did. Uh, I just thought the way that Revity, especially, there's a moment when a door opens and Vijay Satyapati is standing there and you just see this play of emotions on her face, both at seeing him and then looking behind him and seeing something in a room and you just, Oh my gosh. And then the, the final, there's just, 
several really impactful scenes with her. One at, at a uh, funeral and one uh, at the very end of the film, just kind of her final speech is just, yeah, really powerful. I mean, I knew Vijay Satyapati was going to be good. It was kind of in his wheelhouse of a lot of other things that we've seen him do, but uh, Revati's performance in this one is going to stay with me. Well, also, one of the things I really liked about this, it had a uh, certain points, it had a split horizontal screen, and it's showing us both Revati's character and Vijay Satyapati's character at the same time. I just thought that was really effective and you were kind of off kilter and wondering what the relationship was at the beginning and then later on when it was when that was repeated. Summer of 92 was the title of the second one uh, directed by Priya Darshan and that is the motion of laughter. It stars Yogi Babu as a star and the interesting thing was the note at the beginning of it is that it's based on a real story about the Malayalam actor Innocent. Uh, so it's about someone goes back and gives a speech at, at his school where he grew up. And I just have to tell you that if, if, the, if it's about laughter, there were a couple of moments in this half an hour short that I really belly laughed out loud, but I felt like I should be at least chuckling and laughing throughout and I wasn't. So I don't fault Yogi Babu's performance. I mean, I like to see him. He had a, a moment, I don't want to spoil anything, but he had a real uh, a moment of poignancy of asking uh, for someone's blessings at the end of the short. But mostly it's him giving voiceovers and reminiscing about his childhood and his growing up. Yeah, I don't know. I just wanted more laughter. The third one is Wonder, and the title is Project Agni, and the director is Kartik Naren. Now, this one stars Arvind Swami, and it was interesting that some of the directors also acted in some of them. And so, for instance, Gautam Menon acts in one of the other uh, shorts. So, this one stars Arvind Swami, and then it has Sai Siddharth and it's really kind of a trippy sci-fi thing. And it's, I, Arvind Swami just completely sells it as this genius who has broken through this concept of time and reality. And it was like mind blowing. At one point, this other character says, okay, now I'm ready for that whiskey. <laughs> it was like, yeah, you're, you're, the audience's mind is blown as the same way as this character's is in that moment. I felt like it was just a lot of confusing concepts that were sold by the way Arvind Swami was doing this character. So it wasn't one of my absolute favorites, but I thought it was pretty, it was very good and really um, interesting, different kind of a take, especially uh, since the emotion for this one was wonder. I thought one thing that I had to say is the standout is the cinematography in this one. There was a few scenes, especially on the beach. Oh, wow. Really beautiful. Okay. The fourth one is the emotion of disgust. The title of this one is Piasum. So it's centered around a wedding. The director is Vasant and stars Aditi Balan, Rohini, and Dali Ganesh. Um, Rohini, I thought, was fantastic. I can't. She's the wife of the main character. I can't spoil much more than that, but I really enjoyed her performance and the twist about her character. I just have to say, if, the, if it was about disgust, I felt like what happened at the end, they pulled their punches. I mean, we've had... We've had anthologies where babies have been in a blender. We've had other films where, like, you know, we've just had more shocking, disgusting things in films this year. And I felt like, I don't know. I mean, I was ex I just, I don't, I don't want to give spoilers, but I was just expecting other, much more disgusting things to happen. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So not one of my favorite of the anthology. Okay, the fifth one is uh, directed by Kartik Subaraj, who's one of my favorite directors. And the emotion for this one is peace. 
this one uh, has Greta Menon starring as part of a uh, military squad. And then uh, Bobby Simha was more the lead. Uh, Greta Menon is his superior officer in this little squad. Yeah, I don't want to spoil too much about this one because it had some really interesting surprises. I thought, uh, let me just say that it was perfect in that I, it felt like short stories I've heard that were real about a Christmas Eve in World War One, where the different soldiers on the opposite side of a front, you know, just suspended things and played soccer, you know, on Christmas Eve. And then the next day they went back and it was war again. So that's kind of the I don't know, this guy's kind of the essence of what I got from this. It had some really interesting camera work and just a resonance to the story that I, I thought that was just really good. The sixth film is debut director Arvind Swamy, who also acted, as I said, in one of the previous shorts. I was completely struck with the way this this particular short was shot and that I, in the middle, I paused and looked up. Satosh, Santosh Savan was the director of photography. And then I even wrote down that Srijit Sarang was the colorist. Stunning, absolutely stunning camera work. The even transitions of shot, there's one really fun shot where we go from, you know, a shoe to a ball, like just really inventive transitions between shots and the colors, especially in the beginnings of this, just so vibrant and leaped off the screen at me. Wow. I just was really taken with the look of this one. Really finely acted. Sri Ram plays this young man who from a poor family his mother works as a maid and then he has a sister in school we see this violent thing that happens at the very beginning and then we kind of learn how we came up to that moment but then there's other things like we're not sure where we are in time and let me just tell you the surprise at the end about one particular character this is a, a short that shows, I thought it was going to be all about men. Let's just put it that way. And stories of women, there's a line about women being as valuable as gold. That is a thread through it. And then I was really surprised at a reveal about uh, another character, like jaw hanging open surprised in a good way. Like I, I just felt like it had that short story, short film punch to it. Oh, wow. That it was one of my two favorites. I uh, really like that one. All right. Number seven is Fear in my, the director is Radhajan Prasad. And this one stars Siddharth and Parvati. Number one, so awesome to see them on screen together. I was so excited about that. Siddharth actually was also one of the producers, um, in addition to Mani Ratnam and Jayendra. There was some really interesting shots, just one where Parvati steps back out of the focus of the shot that I thought was really cool. Okay. I don't know how much to give away. Siddharth's like this mysterious stranger that comes to Parvati's home. And at one point, there's a question if he is a, could be a supernatural being. Just the way he played this part and how it had shades of gray, shades of gray. Like, I don't want to give too much away, but oh my gosh, I just, I love the way that he played this. I don't know if the ending completely landed as strongly as some of the other ones, but it was just an interesting concept. And I just kind of, I just kind of like, I, I just liked it and I liked the performances. Okay, number eight is Dunantapin and the. Uh, emotion is Vera or Valor Heroism. This one uh, was directed by Sergeant KM and I just have to be honest with you it just was not one of my favorite ones. Um, the cast includes Atarva, Anjali, and Kishore and it just uh, I don't know I didn't think it was as strong as the other piece about soldiers which was the the um, piece one by Kartik Subaraj 
uh, it had an in this one had an interesting open-ended ending, but uh, I don't know. I mean, it was it was not necessarily the performances, just the story itself just didn't capture my imagination that much. I'm just being honest. It just wasn't one of my favorites. But interestingly, at the end, I saw that the story was written by Monty Rottenham. So that left me very surprised that I didn't then love it. Okay, but what I did love was the ninth emotion which is love and who better to direct this than got the menon starring surya <laughs> and Brega martin who i think i've seen as like a supporting character in some films but not as an, as a lead i don't believe it's about a musician surya plays this musician the music in the film is written by kartik and i assume sung by him uh and the, the music and the songs are very important and not a filmy, we're gonna stop and have a dance number kind of a way, but just because the lyrics of the songs and why they were written is integral to the love story and have really good music. Surya just is, he's perfect in this. It's about these two characters falling in love very quickly, almost at first sight and, <laughs> and you know they go to men and magic of creating that kind of moment and i i will it, one quibble is that there's one scene where they're on a motorcycle together interesting filming i mean it was it must have been very dynamic that somebody else was on a motorcycle or something f filming them because occasionally it was a little shaky cam it definitely wasn't that smooth this is a motorcycle attached to a truck kind of a <laughs> kind of a thing anyway a little repetitive in that she is telling Surya's character how much she felt this vibe and how much she admires him. And she kind of goes on and on and on. It was like a few minutes too long. And I'm like, Surya's not saying anything. And finally, when they stop, he says something like, this is only the second time in my life I've ever felt this way. And it's like, he's so overcome by this emotion that he can't even speak about it. And so then he writes a song about it. Oh, <laughs> so I just, I loved what I loved about her character was that she, I love a feisty heroine and this is definitely a feisty heroine who speaks her mind and it's not just shyly demur demurely waiting to be noticed. She tells Surya, didn't you feel this too? Didn't you, you know, I, I just telling him how she likes him right away. And I really liked that. Surya, I always love his performances and, and this is, you know, just quintessential, just like the shy, smitten hero. Oh gosh. But I really love seeing him as a musician and as a singer. I just thought it was a really good fit. And then the ending surprised me. So I'm not going to say anything more than that, but su surprised me in a delighted way. Like, uh, I just I just left smiling from this one it was just like a, such a great way to end this series of nine short films and got to Menon's got to be the longest one it was n not an hour but nearly an hour so it got to be a more fully fleshed story most of the other ones were half an hour approximately a little bit under a little bit more but around half an hour for all of the other ones there's some hits and misses in this anthology as there are with any anthology. I would not recommend necessarily sitting down and trying to marathon all the way through them like I did today. But that's the nice thing is Netflix has portioned them out as episodes so that you can, you don't have to watch all the way through. You can just watch one at a time, I would say in any order, depending on what, <laughs> what mood and what emotion that you want to evoke. I'm curious to know um, others who have seen this uh, anthology and what you thought about it. Did it live up to your expectations? Because this one certainly had a lot of hype. I felt like it was star studded and there was a lot of talent there, both in front of and behind the camera. You can't fault them on the the what they were trying to accomplish, which is to raise money for all of these film workers. So it was an interesting exercise doing one emotion for each, which I guess is something from classical Indian art, you know, expression in theater and uh, dance and so forth. So I just thought 
it was fascinating to do a, an anthology around nine different emotions and some worked better than others, but overall it was really worth seeing. So again, my favorites were the Gautu Menon directed film at the end about love starring Surya and Arvind Swami's directorial on anger starring Sri Ram. And I, you know, I really enjoyed those two the best. All right. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter at PradaisYT. Follow me on Instagram at Reviews. And if you hit the bell when you subscribe here, you'll never miss another trailer reaction or film review.